They got the, the long nose in the front and they're really cheap. So a bunch of people buy them and do crazy shit like this with them. It's such a great looking car to me. This is really similar to the uh, to the one from the Toyota Tires meet that me and FaZe went to. You know the song, right? Rocketeer. Asian people are like, they're with the shit when it comes to cars. Wait, Far East Movement and Ryan Tedder, Rocketeer, Featuring Ryan Tedder? <laughs> they put him twice? This music video is fucking sick. Completely outside of the fact that they used Dotsons. They used the fair ladies in this video. See the cars? Bro, look at how beautiful those cars are. This is an iconic shot. Because these are not normal, like everybody has like Lambos and Ferraris. When was this video made? Like 2010 or something. So yeah, 2010. And they're using super old, they don't have any other cars in there. That's not like they're showing off their giant car are collection. They? But dude, even people today drive these kinds of cars because these cars are legendary. Good song. This this is fucking wavy aesthetic. Actually, Faison was the one who showed me in this new video that the cars were there. This is drip, bro. I want to wear this shit. What the fuck's going on in this video? They're trying to tell some story, right? I'm confused. I can't tell what they're trying to do. Like doing this breakdancing contest or whatever. 2010. Remember how much breakdancing contests happened in 2010? Dude, that shit was so fucking cool, actually. Yeah. Seeing like like Asian kids in this in the corner of the cafeteria. Fucking doing like crazy. I was like, oh shit, that was so cool. I would go there every time to watch him. These are bad views for Drake. 3.8 million after eight days. That's worse than PewDiePie numbers now. And PewDiePie's retired. This is my favorite music video ever. Cause everybody always does crazy shit for their videos. And now with AI, it's become really easy to just pack your videos with like hella crazy shit. And AI is contrary to what people might think about like robots. AI is innately creative. AI will always be more creative than humans. Like I knew from the start, everyone's like, oh, if we have AI automate the rest of the jobs, it'll leave humans do the creative jobs. No, AI is what will do the creative jobs. People want to consume creative content. What gives people meaning is being on the side of the creator of, of creative content. The more you are a creator of it, the less you are a consumer of it. So if you consume so much of it and people who love art We'll just consume, consume, consume that art. They can't get enough, so they create. But if they get enough because of AI, they'll stop creating. AI is innately created. It's like the episode Zima Blue. Machines are so, so simplistic, so orient, like, so goal driven for one simple little journey, like just wanting to repaint the whole world blue. That's what artists are. Artists are not complex people. They just have a deep carnal desire to do some fucking ridiculous thing. And AI will always be able to do that better than people. I knew from the start, everyone's like, It'll leave, humans will do more creative jobs. No, it's the opposite. Humans will, will be left as consumers of creative content. But besides all that, this is a simple, clean, no visual effects, no fancy graphics, no drawings on the fucking screen. None of that. Just a simple, clean video. The song is named Otis, all right? He made this old classic song from back in the day. Kanye is, is the king of sampling. That's what he's been doing since the very start and he revolutionized the entire industry because of it. Just like how they they're taking an old song sample, a legendary old song sample that's been forgotten and doing something new with it and changing it up themselves. They're about to do the same thing to this old legendary car. You'll notice something really interesting about this music video. You'll be able to pinpoint it but it looks so fucking smooth and wavy and, and floaty, but you won't be able to pinpoint why. You'll see. Even though no effects, nothing like that. All in camera. You see that shit? Yeah, I'm about to give you the secret, all right? People don't notice it like that, but it's very simple. All the B-roll, which is the extra shit like that they're not rapping into, is recorded in slow motion. The footage of them rapping is also slow motion. Wait, really? They're rapping at two times speed. They recorded the video of them rapping at two times speed and then slowed it down. So that way, them rapping and lip syncing matches the slow motion. What the fuck? Look, look at, look at their like, Look at their clothes and shit. Look at their clothes and shit. They're in slow motion. See? So they're doing all this at two times speed. Crazy, right? Who thinks of that? Then you can have the rest of the video be slow motion and it will never feel jarring. And listen to their lyrics too, bro. Actually, that's distracting from the video. I wanna fucking do that. That's just sick. Bro, that's Aziz Ansari just chilling in the video. Nobody does shit like this. Cause everybody, they get a budget for like $5 million to make their music video. And then they spend like 200,000 to make their video and they keep the rest of the money. These guys just rented a whole fucking airport. Like nobody spends money like this on videos anymore.
That was my favorite music video. I like music videos with cars. Holy shit. <laughs> I just realized that all my favorite music you videos- just realized that? Yeah, all my favorite music videos involve cars in some way. You know pretty much every music video you showed me has had a car in it? Really? Yeah. But every music video has cars. I don't like all the rest. I like the ones that have special cars. Or, have you- do you know about this- you know M.I.A., the girl that made paper planes? You never heard this part? <laughs> Oh, the second one right here. This one is also a really sick music video because of the cars. You ever see those like videos of like people in fucking the Middle East in the middle of the desert with like 200 fucking Toyota pickup trucks like doing crazy shit with them? Uh -huh. But it's like, it's all the, it's all the shitty low quality videos that come out on Instagram and TikTok and all that. But she went there and got like good fucking footage of it, of the shit that people would do. I don't really like the song that much. The song's whatever, but you ever see videos of people doing this shit? They do that shit, bro, regularly. It's just another day. People get that oil money, they desensitize themselves to every form of entertainment. This is what they gotta do with their time. Practice so much and they destroy so many cars that they can actually get good at this. So they make all these games out of them. Oh, they definitely use a drone for that. They definitely use a drone for that. See, these are fucking sick, dude. These cars? They're so weird! <laughs> hey, bro, if I ever go to the Middle East, this is where you can find me, bro. I don't give a fuck about all the other, like, oh, stay in the Burj Khalifa and all this bullshit. Fuck all that, bro. This is what I'm gonna be doing. Yeah, so... Bro, all the, all the music videos that I like have cars.